Hey, it's Holla with Embody. So I wanted to give you guys a couple self-care tips on dealing with the lumps and bumps and preventing fibrosis. So around the end of the second week, going into the third week, you guys are gonna start getting those hard areas, especially after that fluid kind of dissipates those first couple weeks, those areas are gonna really be more pronounced. And especially if you're wearing your faha and all those foams, you know, it's just gonna create more issues with those hard areas. Um, so don't be alarmed, it's normal. Uh, honestly, it's going to last several weeks. Um, so you definitely want to be able to, you know, manage those. Um, so I tell my clients, get a heating pad, a moist heat pad, and apply it directly to those areas. And you want to just make sure that it's, you're doing it no, no more than 15, 20 minutes at a time. Um, you know, after surgery, your skin can be numb. So you just want to make sure you don't, you burn yourself. So, you know, there's kind of a limit on 15 to 20 minutes and you can do it throughout the day. So if you want to do it several times during the day, you can, that's fine. Um, take your faha off, um, but make sure you have a layer of protection between your skin and the heating pad. So you could use a shirt, you could use a towel um, and just apply it directly to those areas. Uh, make sure you don't have any open wounds. A lot of my tummy tuck clients, um, so just make sure that you don't have an active infection either. You don't want to apply heat. Um, and also make sure that uh, when you're applying the heat, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, you have to really listen to your body. And if something doesn't feel right, uh, I know they tell you to wear your faha 24-7, but if you don't feel right and it's really uncomfortable and it's just creating, you know, more issues, take a break um, and, you know, Take a break for two couple days, you know, two, three days. Um, obviously, you want to get back to your compression. Maybe uh, take it off in the evening and you can apply the, that heat in between those times. But again, just listen to your body. Um, another way to help with those uh, hard areas is self-massage. If you look back in, you know, a previous post, I kind of give you a guide on how to self-massage. And when you feel those hard areas, you know, you can just do some circular motions, kind of work those areas out. Um, another way, obviously, hydrate. Drink a lot of water. Um, and you want to eat healthy. So eating those fruits and vegetables are really going to help promote blood circulation and blood flow. And, you know, those aminos and just the multivitamins can kind of help aid your body in healing faster as well. Um, and, you know, move, walk around, um, get that blood flow, blood flow going, um, and, you know, it'll help you feel a little better. Uh, so just a couple tips. Like I said, if you're getting those hard areas, which you will, um, apply that heat, um, massage, hydrate, walk, and, um, you know, be well. Uh, so again, follow me on my YouTube, Embody Recovery, my IG, at Embody Recovery. 